You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? Then humor me. The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Bali. The eight-month-old basset hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That sounded serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Well, enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw. 21, the compass cellist. Redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. 
I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though. Don't they? Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. There, tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. Get the sign changed. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. They only tell us what they want us to know. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. You must be a new guest, or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. I heard you say earlier your name's Sam. You don't look like a Sam. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Sam, I don't have a motive for killing Dorota, full stop. I'd have to be possessed to murder anything. Do you believe in possession, Sam? Just keep an eye out for anyone acting suspiciously. Although, 
Today, almost everyone seems to be acting suspiciously. We did a reading, a group reading, actually, with a special tarot deck. The three of us get together and read the same cards. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful or something. But I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. Mercury, it's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. My prayer. That the girl would be safe. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? <laughs> You've done your research. The Happy Squirrel was vague and mysterious, but not evil. The Five of Swords? I think so, anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want, no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, ee, ee, ee. swords in general are bad. You know the Chief's got it all wrong. Bronwyn could never hurt anyone, but I'm sure a smart detective like you can help prove she's innocent. The cards told us to. Well, the cards in Rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No? Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job. I said job. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were, um, painting our nails. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. It's nice that you're being honest with me and with yourself. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. Claude, we've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How can you not remember, Violet? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Chief Dupont, what a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn Castle? Does it 
bother you, Chief Dupont? Knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white, you don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? I can do a reading, if you want. Yes. It's the Five of Cups. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. Bronwyn never been arrested? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful, good type character. If you play D&D. Lexi ever been in trouble with the police? No. Not to my knowledge. She's sweet and innocent. Or haven't you picked up on that yet? Oh, Chief Inspector, you gave me a shock. What is it? What have I done? Tell me about Bronwyn. She's an Aquarius. Her favourite colour is green. What else do you need to know? Is she your leader? Leader? This isn't a cult. She looks after me and Rain. Make sure we eat healthy and brush our teeth. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? No, I can honestly swear I don't know any... Augustives? Augustonians? Augustans, until we got here. What were you doing last night? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a Bron can vouch for me. Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. What's going on, Violet? Is everything okay? No, I'm not okay. What's the matter? The new detective's acting strangely. That's to be expected. I told Sam to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Maybe strange is one of those things. Off you go. I'm being subtle. I don't want to see you back here, okay? You got anything to report, give me a call. Any problems, talk to Danny. Danny, remember? Danny? We just talked about this? I said I'd post somebody this morning, and I did. Then I told you it was Danny. Take the pills, Violet. Take the pills. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? Ah, the moon. A card of illusion and deception. It shines, but really it's just a dusty old rock. Seems there's more to our detective friend than meets the eye. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, thank you. I didn't see you yesterday evening. I stayed in my room. You can ask Lexi. That reminds me, I think I found a book of yours. It's called, He Came Through the Shadows. What makes you think it's mine? Your name's written on the inside cover. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. We didn't know she was definitely going to die, only that she was definitely in danger of dying. Tarot cards can tell you a lot when you know what you're looking for. Hello, Violet. Is everything okay? Uh, ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. But you weren't in this room, were you? Oh, no. 
Was I sleepwalking again? I haven't done that since... For ages. I didn't come into your room, did I? No. Oh, thank God. I'll try not to let it happen again. Hello. I'm Rain. Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24-hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what exactly? The real reason we're here. Sam's not a mind reader. At least I don't think so. Just try not to let anything slip. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about Bronwyn? The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. What is it, Miss Taylor? Why did you hire Sam? I didn't hire Sam, the Shaw family did. No, they didn't. Why did you hire Sam? Tarot cards tell you that. <sighs> Listen, Sam gets results. Nobody knows how, but the results are got. I want the killer found as quickly as possible. You've got a problem with that. Who would want to kill Dorota? You doing your own investigation. Great! Let me know when you find out. Bronwyn thinks you've got it in for her. I go after bad guys. If she's a bad guy, then I've got it in for her. Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? <sighs> in hindsight, that does look like a good idea, doesn't it? We didn't believe you. We still don't. Dorota's boyfriend seems sweet. Have you met him? Yes. No? <sighs> still sticking with her, huh? Are Dorota's family safe? Why? What are you going to do? Nothing, just checking. Nobody's safe. Is that a threat? If anything happens to the Shaw family, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Leave. Now. Hello, Lexi. What can I do for you? Please don't ask us to leave. Have you been speaking to Sam? You're safe for the minute. That sounds ominous. If one of your crew did murder Dorota, you can't really stay here, can you? The police want alibis from everyone for last night. Well, I don't have one. I literally can't remember what I was doing. What's up, Lexi? I'm sensing something's on your mind. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. I'm more worried about Ray. Since when did he start praying? You think he's lying? Of course not. This is Rain we're talking about. I was just saying it's odd, that's all. Maybe he's found God? Something's weird, isn't it? Bron seems strange today. How are you? Do you think Dorota was planning on marrying Oscar? What makes you say that? Well, nothing. It's just something I thought I saw. It, it doesn't matter. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Miss Castle, I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorota. You're a prime suspect. 
and your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? Kinky. Oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the Chief that Dorota will be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. I'm brave, but I'm not stupid. Ron, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm okay. Good. It's not our fault this stuff happens. We're just the messengers. We've seen a lot of... stuff? Are you asking me or telling me? Yes, we've seen a lot of stuff. You seem weird. Just go and regroup or something, then come back and make me feel better about myself. Bron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Dorota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Stop it? Yes, stop it. If it's a traveller killing things. Traveller? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. Well, stop freaking me out. It's not cool in this current climate. Claude, Claude, why am I being asked all of these questions? What have you said to Sam? Well, that's not the impression I'm getting. No, no, Claude, you listen to me. We had a deal and you said no questions asked and a lot of questions are being asked. No, I'm not the killer, so why is everybody asking me all of these questions? Mm hmm Fine. Yes, goodbye, Claude. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five, I'm playing football. It was just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Not hidden. Well, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, she'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet. And then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd 
finish. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Uh, Dorota's an only child. She lived with her mum and dad. Monday night was movie night, so they'd go and watch the 8 o'clock at the Odeon. Dorota would get the house to herself. They're devastated, naturally. They left town to stay with relatives. They didn't do it, Sam. Well, uh, perhaps I should have made them stay. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. There's some talk about a traveller, whatever that is. Oscar's not a suspect. He was playing football last night with lots of witnesses. According to Oscar, Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet, which is strange. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? Just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack. Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. <laughs> the vicar's son! No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? Zack's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. No, oh, I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended though, made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. You lie once and you just have to keep going, don't you? Fine, Jeev Tupon was breathing down her neck so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi, None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. Rain's a big boy, he can handle himself. Besides, I'd be highly suspicious if Rain claimed to be doing anything else other than reading on a Monday night. That's pretty much all he does every night. <laughs> Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's. Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case it did help. No, Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing, or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rota. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um. Most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. We're trying to save people. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it.
Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. We're so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. I know, mind-blowing. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? It's just suspicious. I didn't even know the girl. You predicted her murder. Who's more suspicious? You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. I don't really know Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. Why should we do another reading? You already told us. Eight o'clock. Bron, are you okay? Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? Well, of course I do, Bron. See? And now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. Listen, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? We should do whatever it takes. You're acting like we've got something to hide. Miss Castle. More unexpected pleasures. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? Something about a message you wouldn't deliver? Did you want him to be a special friend? Is that why you killed his girlfriend? I didn't kill Dorota. Yeah, yeah, let's do this again. Chief, I didn't kill Dorota. I was in my room. Oh, but you can't prove it, Bronwyn. You're going to jail for a long, long time. I was nowhere near Dorota last night. You said you were with another one of the readers. All I'm saying is that Violet didn't recall seeing any of you. Violet doesn't remember where she was. Did she tell you that? Hmm. Didn't I expect you to come back. Have you contacted Dorota? I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. It's okay, just... How did you know? How did you come up with a name and then she's gone? She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. How could someone even get into Dorota's bedroom? The usual way. The front door. 
Like, it's a townhouse and she's on the third floor. So, other than teleport him or a big ladder, that's the only way. Do you get on with Dorota's family? Not really. Especially not now. They're convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? No. Thanks, Bronwyn. I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Just, just to chat about things. Hi. Hey. Hello. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. Oh, um, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. Uh, I really don't think I'm ready for this. No, no, wait, please. Uh, can, can you just get off me, please? Uh, get, get off me! Get off! Oh, I can't do this. I don't care what the chief wants. I, I just can't. How can you want to sleep with me? Did you kill her? Did you kill Dorota? Yes, you did. You liar, you did! Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Are you threatening me? Who is Mr. Hedges? Exactly. What? Mr. Hedges. The man you asked me to put up who then, you know, died. And then what? And then we buried him together so nobody would find out any of this ringing any bells. We buried someone together? Not literally speaking. I... You took the body and you said you'd bury it, but, you know, I'm an accomplice. We'd both be going down. You have a recognisable knock, Chief Tupin. I'll remember not to answer next time. Do you know Dorota's boyfriend? I've met him once, yes. Just the once? Unless I've got a body double walking around. Yes, just the once. We talked in confidence. You'll need to ask him if you want the juicy details. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain, okay. Ah, Rain, can I help? About last night. Was there a problem? My tap was dripping. But I fixed it. Where were you? Dripping? Maybe I was in my bedroom. That's out of bounds to you. Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the plan? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human murder? Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveller. Like in Birmingham? Yeah, like in Birmingham. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Why? To find evidence that ties her into Dorota's murder? Maybe you're not the right man for this job. It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. 
Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good for names. Wait. Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. As you can see, there's photos here. They're on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in colour. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Do you see what I see? Just a dead girl who looks alive. That's the power of photography. It preserves us forever like butterflies under a glass. It's all very tasteful, Poodle. Our photographs are all about leading the eye and letting the imagination do the work. Most photographers mess it up. It's not supposed to resemble a Victorian whorehouse. <sighs> As you can see, it's all very artistic. Dorota was a natural. She lit up the front of the camera. <laughs> Want to see the videos? Here they are. Oh, not that one. Ah. This is the one. Here you go. She's, um, how you say, um, acting? I know Violet very well. Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With the frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Okay, so this Zap guy was connected to Dorota. Took pictures of her. Were they sleeping together? You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Who hey, what? Boudoir photos. She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. Zach says he's sleeping with Violet, which I doubt. Zach did other photo sessions with Dorota. Boudoir. I wonder what else he's not telling us. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. You're still following up Birmingham. Keep me posted. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned the word traveller to me, but he's nothing. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. 
Oh, do we really have to? How vulgar. Yes, I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. He thinks he's irresistible to women. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? <sighs> Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um... He did mention the rota. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the rota short. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl. Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. Some religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed, hence the demons. Yes, disturbingly. Uh, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. The tarot doesn't just sat-nav us to normal murders. 